Let's have a look at um, the independent a wind story, farms. And, yes, a and story this that makes my heart warm. Uh, well, this they, is they, my neck of the woods. There's delightful Barrow in Furness. Yes, they say to passionate advocates of the atom and renewable energy alike, this one says it all, and how true. Uh, one of Britain's pioneering wind farms is going to be demolished or threatened to be demolished. Why? To make way for the future. The future of clean, green, beautiful nuclear energy. <laughs> well, my dear, there are, I mean, to be said, whether this goes ahead or not, I mean, this Haverig site has been there for a long time, but they are building a massive offshore wind farm in that area just off the yeah. coast. So it's you know, I just, I'll tell you, wind just doesn't work. With, with all due respect to the people, I mean, you read Christopher Booker every week in the Sunday Telegraph, who goes on and on about wind farms, and he knows his stuff. Um, these, the, the Havering Wind Farm produces 3.5 megawatts, and generally you need coal to back it up for when the wind isn't blowing. This plant is going to produce 36, uh, 3,600 megawatts of power on a consistent, and again, CO2 free basis, mm. which will power some, I, I think it's five million homes. But do you know what? It's one of those controversial issues. People hate wind farms or love them. People hate yeah. or love nuclear energy. Oh, I, but it's I want to be there. When, when they knock down that turbine to put oh, up a nuclear oh, Charlie, plant, I want to be there.